this is a pixel book customer send it in for uh, no power and usually he concerned about the data uh, the model number is C0A all right let's, let's plug the charger and see what the computer is doing so the computer take 4 volt and almost 3 amp and there is a screws right here so I already removed that screws So I did remove the battery and it's one low to the 300 milliamp. It means the other amps it was going to the battery. So the computer is sending the charge to the battery. But this computer should work with I think is a 15 volt. When the battery is removed, you can see that light is flashing. Yeah, it's getting warm on this big coil. Yeah, it's getting a little bit warm. The processor, it's not warm at all. But it's getting warm here. So something taking that 300 milliamp. All right, you can see now it's 15 volt and almost 200 milliamp. So the USB-C charging IC is good because this can switch between 5 volt and 15 volt. Yeah, the USB-C charging IC, that's the one sending the signal to the charger, telling the charger to give a 5 volt, 15 volt, 19 volt, or whatever the computer is required. So when the charger IC is, when the USB-C working right, you can see that switch between 5 to the 15 or 19 volt, or even 9 volt for the phones. let's disconnect the screen and disconnect some parts and we'll see if it's because sometimes it could be the keyboard it could be the screen short somewhere is causing it so now everything disconnected so let's plug it to the charge 15 volt 200 milliamp we still have that 200 milliamp. Yeah. Well, let's, I'm gonna check the board and I'm gonna plug, see if there is any other side is getting hot and we're gonna check the capacitor for sure to not. I'm gonna need the charger port with the board as well. So now we have just the board. Still 15 volt, 200 milliamp. There is some sign of maybe a liquid damage right here. Let's check it. 
Let's check the one, the spot that has look like a liquid damage. This one here. So what's that? It's something dry. Let's check the capacitors around that area. 0 0.8. Yeah, open. Yeah, there is no like uh, corrosion or anything in the board. I don't think this is conductive because see no corrosion. Right, let's check the board and the microscope to see if we can see anything else. So far the board looks good. Yeah, I don't see any liquid damage or right, the other side of the board yeah hopefully it's a faulty capacitor if we are lucky yeah I'm gonna check the battery voltage as well yep there is no liquid damage so this is the battery connector and uh, this battery is 7.7 .7 volt so anything over 7.7 .7 here it should be the battery good so there is the positive and the other side is the ground or the negative side of the battery let's go to the voltage is a 8.1 volt so the tablet it or the computer it was uh, charging the battery so no problem in the charging circuit the battery has a full charge but it should be something else so because there is some warming uh, spot and the device is taking uh, a little bit more amp than uh, it should and yeah, let's use the thermal camera and we check what's going on. Alright, still taking uh, 15 volt 200 milliamp. And I see two spots here is getting hot already. This chip and the cooler. Yeah. There could be something else the other side. So it's a 41 degree this side. Forty-five, forty-three. So, okay, it's not this side because looks the color here, and if we flip. Look, the color here is more clear. Okay, in this spot, the hottest spot is 61 degree. In this spot here, the hottest point is at 53 degree. Yeah, we're gonna try to cover it just to know which, because we can't tell which area is. So somewhere.
put here as far as we still see in the yellow uh, spot it means we are not there yet so now we are covering the yellow spot see here is the yellow spot we are covering it so and now we go that side this side we still I don't see the yellow spot and now we start coming up so likely is the chip so let's see what is that chip and we confirm is the chip as well yeah this spot is warm and we are going to connect the charger Huh. Yep, it's the chip. You can see how the alcohol move away. Well, let's measure the the capacitors around the chip. Sometimes the capacitors, shorted capacitor, may cause the chip to get hot. Alright, this, this capacitor tested very low. Zero point zero something. This one is kind of okay. This one is kind of okay, but this capacitor is still very low. So I think I'm gonna start with that capacitor. If we remove the capacitor and still we have the shirt, we're gonna go and remove the IC. Well, let me, so the mark of the IC is here. are going to use two solder iron I'm going to use them like a tweezer so it's, it's easy to remove it this way please be the one no it's not yeah we still have low ohm over there We are going to remove the chip. <laughs> Sell the shirt over there. 0.00 Just see how many ohm I removed the IC but still uh, 1 ohm Anyway, let's plug it to the to the charger and see what it's doing now So it's taking 5 volt and uh, 
15 milliamp. So now it's very lower than how it was before. So checking the chip name is 954, that's uh, the date, the 54 week of 2019 and the H42106. And as the customer wants uh, the data, let's see if the computer is going to power on without that IC. And now the computer doesn't want to power on, plus the charger it's stuck at 5 volt. 100 milliamp. Even the battery is connected now. You can see the computer is trying to turn it on. Can you see the light? When I press the power button, then it's go off. So I'm going to inject some voltage to that uh, capacitor and we'll see if anything getting hot.